Hey everybody, so this is another book that I finished reading just recently, yesterday. And this is about, actually I've done a, a scholarship theme on this this topic about, you know, building a child's brain in a sense. And how we can do that. So, I kind of already knew some of the information and some of the studies that they presented in this. But it was still a good, informative read. And... You know, I learned some, I learned some things through this, just like with every other book that I've read. So, and we can answer the the questions again. And in this book, I like, I kind of like doing that. So it keeps like the video structured in a sense. So number one, what is what is the book about? And with this being a practical nonfiction expository book, this book is about how you can enhance your your child's brain. Or even your own, in a sense, if you were still a an adolescent. To a certain degree, though, not. You know, don't expect to. Actually, yes, you can expect it. With placebos and how it would work 30% of the time, you can expect it to also enhance your learning and creativity abilities also. So, you know, I, I said what the book is about, so now we can go to number two what is being said in the book and as you can kind of see from the title what this will kind of be about it's about talking to your child and the 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 gap that they showed between the two people are rich people and poor people socioeconomically and the the rich people are we can't say rich but above the working class basically those people, since they were talking with their students, not students, sorry, with their children more, their children grew up to be just smarter because, you know, in the past video that I made about neuroplasticity, we talked about how, how you know, our brain, it could just adapt to anything and how humans can pretty much adapt to anything. So with you talking to your child who's, and my child, I mean under three years old, so with your child being under three years old and you talking to them and you know they're not an expert at language right then and there but with you talking to them they become better just like with with me with reading like in the past well I wasn't a poor reader in the past but you know I'm I'm a good reader now pretty much like I'm finishing these books I got this the last video I finished that book and it took 45 minutes you know to finish a a book that took well over 200 pages you know, that's, like, it's, it's pretty much not hard to me anymore. So, so that's the same thing with language. And with the language enhancing, with the, just the ability of, of learning more as a child, you're more likely to, to excel in other areas of life. Like, such as, well, just other school areas, for one. Also, you're, you're more likely to be more social, and also you're more likely to have more self-control and discipline for yourself which again leads to more grit if you remember that video I made with Paul Tuff how children succeed and or so I should say so you know if you if you have a child or you're around one you know just try talking to them and when you talk to them first start off with just something light and then you can go with more intricate sentences such as well, <laughs> you can could, you could start reading them hard books. And that's, you know, reading books to children. That's another thing that, you know, I found that parents pretty much do. But now I pretty much just read to myself. And, and I still, I still you know, gain a good, a good amount of knowledge. Especially, like, with books like these. Like, these are practical books for, for situations in my life to come. So it's... I think it's it's like good to get a head start on on others about about knowledge like this and all the other books that I've been reading. Well, theoretical books are still practical in a sense because they change your mindset and that's that's kind of what I've been you know kind of preaching on this channel is you know you you might not be able to change your situation right now but you can change your mindset about the situation. And as I've said 
in oh actually I didn't say it in my book about neuroscience of great leaders, but changing your changing your mindset and having an optimistic and positive mindset, it actually enhances your your long term abilities for, for different things. So, you know, you could just try try talking to your child. Or as I've said, you know, maybe little brother, little sister, things of that nature. And try to get them into into the school thing early, but in a sense, I was thinking about it, and actually, this is again another thing I've read in in another book is it's kind of indoctrinating them in a sense, but at the same time, like for humans in the twenty first century, pretty much our what we're worth is strictly based on what we have to offer. So someone who's you know they might not have a a large net worth right now or they're pretty much you know almost useless in a sense it's because they have nothing to offer so you know you can make your child valuable in a sense and also you can make yourself valuable like with you know with me reading these books it's kind of like when i go through different situations in my life it's like i've already read about how to succeed in those situations like with college you know, I've already read multiple, multiple books on succeeding in college. Just academic life. Also some, some historical works, which those, the, the historical works, those are important to help us see what to do for the future. And how to not make the same mistakes that others in the past have made. Even though those mistakes, like war, I don't know if I've mentioned it here, but it's pretty much... Like, war is pretty much unavoidable, almost. If, for someone to gain power, unless they have, you know, extreme dip- diplomacy skills, then it'll be pretty hard for a an empire to rise without war. But you can, you know, regardless of your socioeconomic situation, and what this book was presenting is that, that you can make your child become a genius. And not necessarily a genius, but smarter than everybody else, smarter than average. Like, they can have more vocabulary skills, you know. Well, I've already mentioned the benefits of of this, but they could just be better, honestly. And another thing about this book that I've liked was was the, the, the narrator, actually. I'm pretty sure the narrator who, the narrator was the one who wrote the book. And that's something that doesn't happen too often. Especially with authors being, I don't know. I don't know how authors are. Authors are, you know, most of them, or I could say some of them, don't necessarily care about their book, and they do it for profit. That's something that, you know, I don't know if Barack Obama did it strictly for profit, but I know he's one person that, you know, pretty much just made a book for, just because, you know, he, he became a president, and, you know, just another source of income. But... So I appreciate the author for that. That's what I was trying to say. I appreciate the author for for also narrating the story. The book, I should say. And now, number three, is the book true? And I believe 100% that this is true. You know, with, with neuroplasticity and just the ability of our synapses and neurotransmitters to be released or to be made, I should say, it's pretty... It's pretty true, honestly, with all the stuff about the brain. It's pretty true for us to to just advance and progress ourselves just by doing things. So so it's just true and whole, I feel. All right, so what's the meaning of the book? What of it? How does it correspond with, with my everyday life? Or with your everyday life? You as the, the viewer. And I would say that this this corresponds with your everyday life through, again, with neuroplasticity that that you can also change yourself. This isn't just limited to a child. You can also you also have the ability, especially if you're in if you're around my age and you're in school now. Well, school's pretty much almost over with, but you know, with school you can learn anything. All you have to do is pretty much just show up and and try. Just a little bit. And also through other strategies. Like, 
like I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in another video, but with me making these kind of summary summarizing it, you know, analytically, you know, partially analytically, <laughs> then it's enhancing my my ability to remember this stuff. And especially since now I'm when I make these videos I'm not having my notes open, so I'm just going off of memory. That that enhances it even more. So the the effects are being amplified. And oh, how does it correspond with your everyday life? Yeah, you can do it. I'm pretty sure that's that's what I've that's the meaning I've been deriving from a lot of books, honestly, is they're showing that, you know, you can do it and we can adapt to our to our situations and we do adapt to our situations. So this is thirty million words building a child's brain.